Good morning, Steve Bentley here, Off-Road Grind, and today we're going to show you how I repositioned the washer fluid reservoir from typically up in this area here, underneath the front right corner of the vehicle. As you can see, we put the high clearance steel bumper in here earlier, and that washer fluid reservoir hung down here, as you'll see. And we just wanted to reposition it so that it's not exposed. So where did it go? Right here. Just popped it into this little area here. This is not the same reservoir, obviously. And the other one is really weird shape and big. It just wouldn't fit in here. So pop this in there. Worked out great. Stay tuned. <laughs> to pop off the washer fluid reservoir in case I need to order one because I'm thinking this one's probably not going to be able to work where I want to put put it so I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to get something different size and shape but pretty simple a couple screws in here there's a little bracket that was on there you just drop that out and then once that came out I just popped it off and it pulled out the top hose just wiggled it out all the pumps were still attached so I just poured it into a washer fluid container that I had dropped that down or before I did that these hoses so there's two long ones we got a long hose and a long connector that goes to this side that goes to this one here and then we have a shorter connector and a shorter hose that goes to this one so I just put S on there just in case if I'm going to use this again but at least I know they're going together. This doesn't fit in here I didn't think it would I don't want to move the power steering mount I could probably fit it in here if I move that don't want to put it in this area here because I'm putting a spare battery in there at some point because I could put it in here temporarily for sure but if I'm changing it anyways, at some point, I might as well just change it. So, probably gonna need to get a different reservoir, obviously one that's a little sm smaller, and then just fit it in this space here. But these cables just came off, and there's all, all these little clips. They just pop into this thing, so as you can see, you're just gonna squeeze the back end of them, push them through. They're all connected in here. I think this one here is a wiring in here in this harness looks like it goes up to this AC controller so I'm thinking it's something to do with that comes in off this line so there's probably wires in here that feed both the AC line that goes out here and then the, the pump so I'm just gonna keep them all together I think I can jam all this stuff up through here, leave that connected there so that feeds that. And then the hose for the washer fluid, I'm just gonna pull through for now. So I need to get a washer fluid container that'll fit in this little area. There's lots of them. And then reroute this. I would imagine one is for the rear washer fluid and one's for the front. One here. The one on top. On top. The shorter one. This is for the front. So the shorter one is for the front because it comes up, lines up in through here, and then up here, and then the longer tube is for the rear. Um, and then both of these are, so that's the rear pump, and then that would be the front pump. And 
then I'm just gonna pop a thing in here and whatever container I use, I'm gonna pop these pumps off here. I don't know if they unscrew or I just pop them out and then uh, reuse them because they're working. My hands are filthy. And I uh, just pop them into whatever new container I get for the washer fluid. So that's the plan for that. So I'm going to replace the washer fluid. There's the old one. I pull those pumps out. And I think this is going to fit in really nicely right in here. Put that bracket into that wall, secure it in place. There's a little bracket there. I'll probably pin right in there. And I can fit that in there. And I got lots of room for the pumps to go in. I'm not going to use this pump here because the ones I've got are working. So we're going to switch them all over and get that done while it is another rainy day. I'm going to pop that right in here and hook up all these hoses. I know I need to drill some holes in here. It's looking like this hole here is smaller than the one that the original washer fluid came with. I tried pulling these off gently. Didn't seem to be doing a very good job with that. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is just cutting this out open and pulling this out, measuring the size and then drilling that into that container with one of my step bits. I think I've got one down here. Yeah, this, this big one should do it. So, get on that.
not as low as I'd like it, but it should be okay. So I'll mount the bracket up inside the car, which is pretty simple. Although the bracket's really stiff for sliding into the back of this jug. Um, maybe after a few times working it, it'll work. And um, I'm just gonna screw this up inside this side panel here, somewhere in here. Super easy to get to. Actually, I can't put it there at all because I won't be able to get the jug slid down on top of that. So, hmm, maybe I'll just strap it in somehow. Um, I can always mount that there and then put some straps on it and tie the jug in. I'll figure that out later. I really just wanted to get the the pumps in for now and then I can track around with the rest of it later. Super easy to access this part. It's right there. So I can screw through that pretty easily. This is where it was, right in there. Okay, and there's the final washer fluid location and we got all our LED headlight wires all in there, but the washer fluid containers tucked in around there as well. Hey there, how's it going? But we've got all that tucked in there. And I think it came out really well. We've got lots of lots of room to access it. Um, this is a the only one that I found that I really liked when I was looking. But now that I'm online, I actually found a, a better container that I thought I was going to do this again. I would purchase, and it was only about ten dollars as opposed to this one, which I think was fifteen or sixteen. Um, the other one doesn't have another pump on it like this one did. But I didn't want the pump anyway, so it was really just getting in the way. So I would get the other one. It actually has two tabs coming up here that make it easier to attach to something. So at some point I might pull this one out and use the other, or get the other one. Um, but anyways, yeah, super easy. Well, I'm just getting the old pumps out of the old reservoir and drilling the right hole is really the trickiest parts. Um, those step bits are awesome, but they can get away on you. And if you're not careful, it'll just dig right in and make the hole way too big. And then you've just ruined your container. So be careful with that. Anyways, there is the build. Thanks for following along on that. Uh, have a great day. Bye.